welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome i'm jess i love all things fitness healthy lifestyle and activewear so if you're interested in those things too definitely subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos today i wanted to show you what is in my hiking backpack i am in colorado i've been on vacation here for about 10 days and we've been doing a ton of hiking so i have my hiking backpack here and I'm going to show you what's inside. If you hear any noises, it's probably the hummingbirds flying around and the birds chirping and there's a bunny hopping in the yard. <laughs> so this is my hiking backpack. I got this from REI um, when I went to Ecuador a couple years ago and I am obsessed with this bag. I love it so much. It's super duper lightweight and I just love the pockets. So it has a pocket on the top on the flap. And then it also has a pocket here that unzips. It has a mesh pocket on each side. And then of course it has a big compartment. And this is really nice because you can kind of cinch it. You can also adjust how long this part is. So I've actually like put a hoodie in here and kind of like cinched it down. And then inside it has a little bit more organization as well. There are two pockets inside as well as a pocket for your hydration. Um, so the most important thing that I have in my backpack is my Camelback bladder and I have the original bag that it came with but I actually prefer this bag a little bit more. It's a little bit bigger but also a little bit lighter. Um, so this is my Camelback um, hydration pack and then the bag has like a little thing where you put the straw through and it goes out and you can put it through the strap of your bag. So when your bag is on you have your straw and it's really easy to drink. So if you like to hike and you don't have a Camelback, you definitely should get one. Um, these kind of hikes, a little 20 ounce bottle of water is not gonna cut it. So this is a two liter and then my husband has a three liter. So you really wanna make sure you have adequate water and just a little bottle of water on a long hike is definitely not gonna be enough. All right, so that is the first thing in my bag. So in the outside pocket on the, let's see, usually it would be on my right hand side. So this is in the wrong place. On the right hand side, I put in my sunglasses and my hand sanitizer. So those are really easy to grab. And then on the left hand side, it's on my tripod right now, but I actually have like a little handheld thing for my phone. I have the iPhone 11 and I don't have a case that has a strap of any kind, but I do have a handheld thing with a strap on it so that if I'm out and about, it makes me feel a lot more secure. And when the bag is on my back, I can actually just reach back there and grab it. So it's really handy and it fits really securely in there. So I'm not worried like if I'm on the side of a mountain, like walking down a path, I'm not worried it's gonna fall out. Cause if you look, it's nice and deep in the top. I always have my tissues because on the mountainside, if the wind is whipping, I've been noticing a little bit sniffly. Um, and sometimes in the forest, I don't know if I'm like secretly allergic to pine, um, but it's always good. Just bring a few tissues because you don't know if you're going to need them. Um, I have a mask. So some of the trails I've been on have been definitely more crowded. Um, these are from Athleta and I love them. So it's really nice. It has an adjustable... Um, strap there it also has like a little um, metal piece to fit to the nose so i always have that and then i also have my chapstick with spf 15. so the sun in colorado is really intense and i've been finding my lips have been super dry the air is also drier here than i'm used to because in boston it's more humid um, so i'm constantly putting on lip balm trying to protect my lips i also have a little clip that's just on the top so sometimes we've been starting our hikes at like four or five in the morning and it's cold out so i might have my hair up like i have it now half up half down and then when i'm done with the clip i put it here and on my wrist i have a scrunchie so if i am getting hot i can put my hair up um, as we're going down the trail as i'm getting hotter as the sun's finally coming up so you definitely want to be prepared for different types of weather um so a couple things, I always have like a hoodie of some sort. So this is really lightweight. This is from Burn Boot Camp. And then my jacket I just bought, I'm obsessed with. This is, it's so tiny. Like look how small that is. 
This is from the New Balance outlet. Um, and it's just like a windbreaker, really simple. It's not waterproof. So we did do a hike where it did get soaked through. So if you are worried about it being waterproof, this one is not, but it has zipping pockets, which I love. And the back is really cool. So if you're a runner, you would love like this open back. I thought it was just like really breathable and the hood was super clutch on the mountainside because the wind was whipping and I literally like tied it tight around me. But I love, and I also found it to be protective. So some of the places we went, it was buggy. So I wanted to have like long sleeves, but it's super thin. So it's not like it was like making me hot. And then literally you just go like that and you can shove it back in the bottom of your bag. So I love that. All right, another must on the mountainside is sunscreen. This is the Trader Joe's I shared in my favorites video. Um, this is SPF 30, so I use this on my arms. I have a different one that I use for my face that I think I've shared in a favorites video as well, but this I use on my body. So before I hit the trail, like first thing in the morning, it doesn't matter what time I'm getting ready, I always do my arms and my chest and anything that's gonna be exposed. And then I bring this with me to reapply if I need to. And I will reapply this on my face if I feel like I need a touch up, particularly on my nose. I feel like my nose have been, has been getting a little bit burnt. I have um, some gum. I'm obsessed with having some gum. Just, I don't know, like if you're eating snacks on the trail. I also have this battery pack. So it's always good to have a backup battery. I mean, cell service doesn't really work usually, but if you're taking a lot of pictures and photos, it's nice to know you have a backup battery. I also have my headlamp. So when we did the Longs Peak Keyhole, it was four in the morning. So we hiked in the dark for like almost two hours, maybe like an hour and a half or so. And we were in the forest, we were on a trail, um, but we definitely needed a headlamp for that. So I just have been keeping that in there. I also have this little bag of crystals and this pin was my grandmother's. And so um, Colorado is a special place to me because we used to come here to visit my grandma. Um, and this was her pin that I found when we were cleaning out her house after she passed away. So I like to keep this with me. I love to take this on adventures, especially hikes. So I'm like, my grandma's always with me and it's a butterfly. So whenever I see butterflies on the trail, I think of her. Um, another cool feature on the bag is it has this little strap. So these are my house keys. So I have them strapped into the bag and that way I'm not scared that my keys are just like randomly gonna fall down like through some rocks, you know what I'm saying. Um, so I love that I can strap my keys and I know that they're safe. I also have in one of the pockets a backup mask because on one of the trails I put my mask in my pocket of my coat and then I put my coat away and then I was panicked. I literally thought I had lost my mask and the trail we were on was getting really busy. There were a lot of people and not everybody was wearing a mask and I personally wanted to have one if I had to pass anybody. Um, so ever since that, I think it was like our very first hike, um, I just put a backup mask in my bag so that no matter what, I knew I had one. And then the last thing, oh no, there's two more things. Um, I have my headphones because the other day my husband and I split apart when we did Long's Peak. He went to the summit and I did not because I'm a wuss and I'm afraid of heights with cliffs. So I brought my headphones in case I needed like company. I knew that I was going to be hiking alone, but I didn't end up using them. I actually just like really enjoyed myself on the way back. And the last, last thing, I wear contacts. I actually brought a spare pair of contacts with me because another hike we did, I think it was our second hike, I got like dust in my eyes, like in my contacts, and I never have problems with my contacts, but this one day I did, and we were like coming down, and I kept blinking, and then I couldn't see right, and I was like, you know, I probably need to be able to see well, so I just threw an extra pair of contacts into my bag, um, just for, you know, just in case, and I haven't needed to use them, but better to be safe than sorry. Oh my God, I forgot to tell you about my snacks. That was like almost the most important part. So trail snacks. I tend to like things with kind of like cleaner ingredients. 
So my two favorite bars are RX bars. Um, this is the coconut chocolate. And then I love the chocolate sea salt. These to me taste like a brownie. Like I love these. And I also like the banana chocolate walnut. So I have two, I always put two RX bars and then I put two Lara bars. So my favorite kind of Lara bar, and these are also great. They have very low ingredients. There's only a few different things like dates, chocolate chips, sea salt. It's very simple, um, just four ingredients. So these are the peanut butter chocolate chip. And then I also like the regular chocolate chip. So I have two of these also. I have Annie's just for like, if I have a sandwich or something, we did um, lettuce wraps with buffalo chicken. Um, so I have these, these are like the little um, bunny grams. These are the cheddar squares, they're cheddar bunnies. I usually don't eat this kind of stuff, but on a trail, I just feel like it's nice to have like a carb source just to have like a little bit more energy. Um, and these come in a pack that have the all three kinds. So the cheddar bunnies and then the grams and the squares. So that's just fun and it's like a hundred calorie pack. And then I also, have these trail butter packets. I bought a jar of it and they threw in a couple packets for free. So I thought this would be nice. It has like some fat, it has some protein, has some carbs. So if I just need something, this kind is dark chocolate and coffee. So I thought that would be good on the trail, get a little caffeine in. Um, so those are my trail snacks as well. And one more trail snack. I love from Trader Joe's the little nut packages. So these are the cashews and almonds and cranberries. Um, and it's like a single serve. So again, like I don't always eat these normally, but something like a trail snack, like it's pretty wholesome. I think there's obviously some sugar in the um, cranberries, but it's, it's a good little snack while you're on the trail or like right when you finish if you need a little something. So that is my hiking bag. I hope you liked these tips and tricks. So this is the REI, it's called the Flash 22 if you're curious and it does come in other colors there was like a red when i bought this i think there was like a purple i don't know if there was a black um but i love green so that's what i ended up with so i hope this was really helpful i hope you enjoyed my tips and tricks for hiking and hopefully you have some really cool trails near you so you can try them out but Definitely check out my other videos on Colorado. If I have any posted, I will link them in the description bar below of some of the adventures and hikes that we did. And I will see you in the next video soon. Bye.